my god, we're back. I am crying with anticipation! It's oh. spicy ramen! Holy crap! Oh, oh my god! Why are you eating ramen? <laughs> because we're having a good time! I miss it! I miss everything! Yay! I miss it. I, did you know I kissed that ring when I came down that rail? <laughs> yes. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where's the prompt? Ranch of Cucamonga. Oh my god, he's going to the spot! Who's that random? Who's that random? But okay, we're here live in Ranch of Cucamonga. Oh my god, yes! We're sponsored by the Dojo of Takaya Shop! Okay, that was a random. I pushed a button and it's and randomly put Ranger Cucamonga. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, get your tuckles and your bulldog bites in. Are you still selling the Ruthless Aggression tuckles? I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, everything hurts! <laughs> it's, it's in my throat! <laughs> Stop dying. Uh, right, I don't have this music on. Oh, oh. <laughs> the question is Are you new here? I'm joking. I'm joking. The answer is always no. New phone, who's this? Oh, I don't even know. All I know is that we're finally back. We're 100% back. Kind of. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. I if I wasn't, did, did you miss that one? <laughs> if I wasn't eating ramen, spicy ramen with graphics tongue at the same time, I would have been upset. But I'm too in pain to be upset. Oops, no, that's the commercial. <laughs> I'm waiting for this ad to pass by. Pika. Nope. <laughs> hey, can oh, you you? Pika. <laughs> Pika. Dang it. <laughs> I'm using it from the YouTube. That's why I'm like, I'm waiting for the ad to go by and not get copyright or anything. No. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Something real quick here. Uh, I should have done this before. Ah. Uh. Is it under overlays? I think it is under overlays. Everybody hurts. Yes, it is. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, there we go. Chip trial. Okay. In. Yeah. Close. You saw everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you saw everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Uh, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're finally back. But at what cost? <laughs> well, it cost my sanity for a good long while. Anyway, my name is MF Classy, alongside with my broadcast partner, Duck Niffers and Roman. Woo! We're live here at the Rancho Cucamonga Dojo. We got permission. We got permission? All right. Yep, we got... I mean... I was just in the neighborhood. And I knocked da, on the da, door. Da, 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 in the neighborhood. <laughs> in the neighborhood. <laughs> I was in the neighborhood. I knocked on the door and I was hungry. And then it was just like, no, be nice. We just host a show here for a return. And then I I blinked. Blink once if you're in pain. Blink twice if you're in pain. I, man, I. Listen. <laughs> I don't even know how that way works. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> But we're finally gonna head out to the first match. But I wonder, uh, it seems like we're starting off with the teacher starting off the, the match. Oh, is this class now in session? Yes. Over that a little bit. Let's see if I still got it. <clears throat> Oh, 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, this is the teacher. The teacher is now uh, putting butts into seats and saying that she's officially back in class. And now there's no substitutes this time. No the substitutes? Substitute? Okay. No, not at all. <laughs> With summer school coming to an end and class is back in session, the teacher is now making our way sliding into the ring and making sure that each and every one of them, each and every one of those people that's in butts and seats are seeing four. Four. Well, they're telling her to sit down four times. Four times. Not five. Four times. Just four, four times. Unlike somebody else we know in this four. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? Her opponents. Oh no. Are those cannons again? Oh my goodness. Look who's back. Oh god. <laughs> From the Virgin Islands, this is Captain Val Spitzo. So we have a teacher versus the pirate, as the pirate is being the rebel, and teachers hate rebels. They're 100% against rebels. Rebility is not for you, and not for you, and definitely not for the teacher. As now Val Sparrow, the very, well, the originator of the longest reigning collective women's champion, being beaten twice by both Rhythm and by... Uh, little Knight. Oh my. The third <laughs> longest reigning Galactic Women's Champion, Val Sparrow, is now officially facing off against the teacher. Not only she's a former Galactic Women's Champion, but she's a former Misfit Champion, too. Let's not forget about that. That's right. She had held many championships so far. Yeah. <laughs> How the frick do I remember my history? Yes. Things and stuff. <laughs> Coming though with her new year, actually. Oh, really? Yes. It's been a while we've seen Val Sparrow. She's rocking that, finally wearing a hat. I guess by this by her brother, <laughs> Jack Sparrow. That's Captain Jack Sparrow to you. Yeah, next right. <laughs> referee James. Well, referee Grace, ring the bell. <laughs> oh, and a teacher ready, flowing and over. But Val is not having it for the start. She's not going to be the first person to hit the mat. It's going to be the teacher. Nope. Up and over. Oh. Trying to haymaker and trying to knock her off to ropes there. But oh, oh. Val Cutter. was wrong. She was wrong this time. And turn herself around into the neckbreaker. No. Oh, this time the teacher bring her the neckbreaker of her own. The teacher has been uh, studying moves and ever since we've been on a long hiatus she's actually been she's been studying hands down that explains a lot oh, oh, wow. and, and the rolling barrel and oh, oh god just knocked the teacher off to off her footing from the corner she could have got a clip right there on her shoulder referee grace in the counter too these two ladies are just like constantly countering each other. Oh, oh. oh. okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever she was trying to do there, but okay. Ooh. Uh, where are you going? Don't guess, Doctor. Please, <laughs> we just started to come back, and <laughs> okay. I know we, I know Prime Month, Prime Month is over, but hey, never had a chance to use the arena. <laughs> That's true. Uh oh, the captain's hook can connect right there. She got a tap. She got a snap. Is she got a. Nope. She's got to break her off the submission hold and drawing those elbows. Funny, lets her go. Are you okay? No, oh, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> and now she's going for the anchor! Oh! No, not the anchor, the dead man chest! And kicks out a two. <laughs> Be proud all year. Yeah. And she's waiting up. Trying the elbow Ooh. strike. Again, I should remind you that she's wearing a metal elbow pad. I think I jinxed it. <laughs> oh, should, no, never mind. Probably should be celebrated all year long. Yes! 
always be okay for who you are. Exactly. You're right. <laughs> exactly. A uh, one. Oh, only one this time. I guess just one. Okay. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, the teacher finally countering it. As now she's reading her room and making sure that this woman is is being punished for it. That swinging net breaker put the exclamation point and the oomph into this thing. But Oof. only a one count. I don't know how my audio is. I'm uh. not so sure if I'm loud or real loud or, or if the game is too slow. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> uh, what's the Marcus. audience? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> teacher dropping that knee to the arm. While the fox is hacking away. Oh, the teacher. Oh no. The dude buster. Oh. <laughs> you got him. The fox over immediately. <laughs> and a kick out. <laughs> Two. The teacher has many different accolades in her in her history books. If you want a history lesson of the teacher, you need to read each and every one of the companies, each and every one of the chapters that she's been a part of. She's been world champion numerous times, team champion numerous times, single competitor champion in every division, and now here in GCA, there is no difference on how she wants to continue her legacy, being world champion, team team champion, the Interstar, Misfit, Pure so whatever is going through that teacher's head, she's going to actually devise a plan and achieve those goals. Oh. Blocks the elbow one more time. <laughs> now oh. throwing those haymaker one more time. Going up. Snap suplex. Now dragging away Alex. from the ropes there. <laughs> She does need to. She does need to beat her roadblock here. Or we can say, see, dead man chess. Will this be it for the teacher? No. Sparrow just could not believe it. <laughs> oh, the teacher. She's going. To go. Oh, knee to the back of the head. She almost confiscated that win away from her. There is no winning in my class. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Already knocking her off the apron. Gotta bring Sparrow back into the ring. And a teacher already measuring up on the captain. Tries to pick her up. Nope, not letting that happen for Sparrow. Coming back with the elbow. Now gonna send her off the ropes. Ducks the line, fake count into the lariat of her own. She's trying to check her shoe size. Maybe the woman she needs shoes. Does uh, she need new shoes? Shoes. Shoes. Brought to you by Sparrow. <laughs> <laughs> And the teacher tried to crawl to the corner there. Your mic's a little weird, cutting off. I think this is. I think it might be the fox. <laughs> you were cutting out. You were cutting out a bit. <laughs> and to the cover she goes. Kick out. These ladies are throwing a lot of tent. Quack. I didn't hear that time, though. Crack. Yep. <laughs> Coming back into the corner. Oh, no. Getting handsy. The teacher. <laughs> One more time. No. And a disrespect right there. <laughs> I mean, the teacher knows all one and two things about disrespect. As now, oh, oh, oh gee, center flying. That was a paper plane. A paper plane. Yep. Airplanes. That teacher was trying to put away Val Sparrow, but Northern Lights. Now 
Oh, come on, the elbow. Jeez. Yay, thank you. <laughs> Uh oh, the teacher's gonna go fly. She wants to become a player herself. Oof. What a missile drop. Fist. It's a fist of the teacher. <laughs> okay. It was a missile <laughs> drop fist. A count of two. And it's still the funny to the outside. Oh. And again with the elbow strike. Not the time to take a bow, but okay. <laughs> Bring him back into the corner, she goes. And what is this? The teacher! What the oh, backflip? What the heck? Duck in the line! Coming for Ooh! And she's firing up. And the teacher! One more time! Drop it! Oh! <laughs> Goodness gracious! And that's the end for the captain. <laughs> Game Val Sparrow detention. Wow. I never thought that would happen, but okay. <laughs> really. <laughs> Right there with that, oh, that knee to the back of the head. <laughs> Here is your winner. Now the teacher officially put everybody on notice of beating a former Galactic Women's Champion, a former Misfit Champion. And now this woman is going to be going to the stars. To the stars? To the stars. Yes. That's fine. Quack! Are you my soundboard now? <laughs> Someone redeems it and you're the soundboard. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Okay, are you eating the microphone again or something? No. Kind of just like... Mouth burning. Ah, right. Pain. Must endure the pain. Also, my stomach is talking to me. To me, talk to me, talk to me. Oh. Heck yeah. We're back. <laughs> All right. No, mom, I'm 16. I eat unhappy meals now. But what? What? <laughs> what? what about happy meals? Happy meal. All right, next up, we're going to have a tag team match. Ring. Ah. The fellow is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring. This is Sofia Diaz and Noriko Oda. They are Tokyo Hollywood. Now I saw Tokyo Hollywood for uh, during our break and Tokyo Hollywood felt like they were stalking me. Oh, wait, what? I don't, I don't know. It was really weird. I, I saw them everywhere I went. I, like, honestly speaking, went one way. I saw them at the restaurant across the street. I went another way. I saw them at the bakery across the street. It's like, come on. I just want to have fun. Yes, they don't girls. have to No. <laughs> Cause girls, no. you want to have fun. No. God, no. <laughs> The tag team provided by MEW, brought to you by Source of Goblin. But 
This is going to be an interesting match. Very interesting, I say. Because we haven't seen these tag team for a long time. <laughs> well, we haven't seen anybody for a long time. Well, besides me. <laughs> That's true. Oh? And their opponent from the realms of Skyrim. Ursa the Org and Eric the Nord, the Skyrim Raiders. This is, uh, this is new. Oh, yeah. This, they decide this to the... bring her to shield this time. Sierra oh. Holta in wrong one. Sorry. 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 Not, the, not that shield. What the heck? Sorry. <laughs> Don't start freaking out like, oh, they're here? What are they doing here? Velvet Dove is gonna run. Did you just go see Velvet Dove run down the ramp? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Run down the ramp and up the stairs. You're gonna that's all you're gonna see. I'm pretty sure that's the military shield fox. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh okay. And Ursa. Oh, I'm um, ducking, uh, ducking the kick. Quack. Now Tokyo Hollywood taking on the Skyrim Raiders. Tokyo Hollywood, before we went on a hiatus, was on a was on like a good hot streak lately. May potentially be like some good contenders. Oh, oh my God! Jesus. Wow! Jesus. What, that, that was, that's, what the freak was that? It was disrespect. Super kick leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Well, what I disrespect. I did say this is going to be a very interesting match. I mean, wow! Did not expect that super kick out of nowhere. Okay. And then a rolling breaker? I mean, I guess they're aware who they're going up against. Jesus Christ! Tags in. Okay, my turn to tag. Super kick. Breaks up wow. the pin. Wow! <laughs> Is this kind of commentary all you think? Yes. And now Noriko try to do the same thing, Ooh. but uh, what the heck she is that? Really? Ty a tired finish? Okay. I, I'll, I am so confused at what just happened. <laughs> I am too. Noriko just hit, hit her with a tired, tired finish, a tired breaker, and now just giving her nothing but a forearm. Oh, <laughs> Okay. That was a scandalous headbutt. Are you related to someone we know? <laughs> I mean, you're from Japan. I mean, I feel like you're related to someone. <laughs> Weave. Weave. Standing up to the ropes. Drops down. Drop down. Leapfrog. Leapfrog. Okay. Hello. Squid. Hi, welcome to and, and welcome to Enwell. Oh! Whoa! No, 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 no! Oh! oh yeah. Squid Squibbles. Thank you for the fall. <laughs> out of nowhere, she's hitting these moves out of nowhere, trying to put down the Skyrim Raiders, telling her the Skyrim is overrated. Pun intended. <laughs> now, Tokyo Hollywood saying that they're beaches. With a double shoulder tackle and a big splash by Sophia. Now Sophia's gonna be taking over it. Oh, one more time. One more time. She hit it with a two time. <laughs> Sophia is now taking over this match as Tokyo Hollywood has been in control this entire competition. After Sophia hitting her with a super kick. Like, like, you didn't expect that. Drop she down. Dropped, uh, and a kitchen oh, sink. Kitchen. Also tag in the Ursa the Orc. Ursa the Orc is now in the... In... Ooh, ooh, jeez. Hello, Squibbles. How's it going, Squibbles? Squibbles. Ursa the Orc is now trying to take over. As now she's going for a nice net breaker, planting her opponent in the middle of the ring. Uh-oh. Make her go full up. Ooh. ooh. Oh, no, stop. Punches. Jeez. We're doing good. Second match of the day. Night. Afternoon. Her first match, <laughs> her second match in her in a long time. And Eric, Eric is going to the top rope. 
She's trying to raid disguise. Oh! Raid disguise <laughs> or <laughs> flying by. <laughs> Into the cover she goes. Oh, and immediately a break of one. Oh, we're going no. after Noriko. <laughs> I mean, Noriko did. Uh oh. Oh! Octopus stretch? <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> And Ursel's trying to make the save, sending her up and over down to the floor. Not even paying attention to her right after that. Holy crap. And Sophia is now uh, making sure that this match is in her control all the way from Tokyo and not from a fictional place of their own, in their own head. These two, these teams were supposed to be... Uh, Double-sided thing. However, this competition has been nothing but one-sided as Tokyo Ho uh, Tokyo Hollywood or Hollywood Tokyo No, oh, I got it right the first time. Yeah, you got it right <clears throat> Oh, oh no. wait! Up on his shoulder. Wait a minute. That's Eric's finishing move What no the way. heck? She just took her move. What the heck? That was so close to referee James. Oh my gosh. <laughs> referee James only almost getting punched in the face. Uh oh. Trying to break the hole there. That's Eric. Gonna grab her one more time. Turn herself around. Oh. The right. straight knee to face. And now, uh oh. Oh, got up a little too fast. Into the Uranagi. And not letting her flee. Okay. It's like she's trying to keep her distance there. That is true. I mean, she's been on the receiving end throughout this entire match. And now she's tagging on her partner, thinking, you know, knowing that this enough is enough. Wee! <laughs> Just to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, stop. Oh, that's, there's a kick she was looking for. Center the ring. She kicked out regardless of Stephanie not helping her at all. Oh, she's trying to put it away. And then again, got a shoulder block at the very end of that. I trying to wear her down for a bit. Oh, out of the ring. Noriko to the top row she goes. Oh, she's got to fly high. No, stop teasing me. Why would you tease me? Instead, going after Eric. Oh, see, that's a mistake you made. You should have dive off, but no. <laughs> and <laughs> well, to make another hot tack to Sophia. Oh, atomic drop. Double foot. Go for and the cover. The only one the in the <laughs> ring. Oh. Oh. No. She wants to go up. She's gonna fly. Into the 450 splash. And going for the immediate cover. But still know where her partner is. Bless you, Melissa. With the mid section, into the Tiger Bomb. And one more time, close the tag in. Right oh, there. Never mind. She was on the floor. <laughs> oh! Well, one goes down, and I'm going to the other one. And bring her into the ring. She's not even the legal person. But instead, she wants to put her down with that massive power bomb oh gosh kind of four. and a sunset flip by Sophia oh no oh no <laughs> oh with a sunset power bomb what is going on <laughs> Going on the other side of things, on the other side of the world. But a jawbreaker. She just traveled all the way on the other side of the world just to give her opponent a jawbreaker. 
I blame the sliders, that's why. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> for me to Eddie. Viva la raza? Si. Si. Si! I will be right back. Take your time. <laughs> Stomach is hurting. Oh no. Drink some milk. And now Sophia gonna try to bring Eric back into the ring. The count is seven. To the top rope. As Sophia going for another 450 splash. And Ursa make the save one more time. Yeah, we'll say the slider is really messing up on a tag team. <laughs> okay, get him a section. And then into the driver. Oh, that would have been so close. So very close. But Ursa's not giving out that she's gonna bring her back around with that shoulder tackle. Dropping down with the elbow. And then off the rope she goes with the big orc splash. And send her off again to the corner. With the back elbow. And bring him back around to the corner there. Tagging in. And now gonna send Nur Nurko with a sh flying shoulder. As Urza makes the tag. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, caught her off guard. And so close. Not even close for a victory yet. Just yet. And now Noriko to the top row with a swanton, but Eric stood up. And eat the knee one more time. And now onto the shoulders in the torture rack. Neckbreaker. <laughs> to the cover she goes. But a breakup by Sophia. Oh, she's gonna do it to Sophia this time. Oh, an insecure out of nowhere. Urza desperately acting for a tag. And Noriko is still trying to go after Eric, but she's not the legal person. And a mistake one more time. <laughs> Yes, your your wrestler is, is in the in the car today. <laughs> Actually, I haven't posted any card yet, but you are crazy. Will be in action in that as well. And Ursa, turn her inside out. Oh my gosh! And there it is. The Skyrim Raiders finally put away. Tokyo, Hollywood. <laughs> Unbelievable. Here are your winners. The Skyrim Raiders. <laughs> The heck, exclamation point P? <laughs> Are you trying to put in pixels? <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> All right. And whatever Fox is doing, he's coming right back.
also I need to fix these matches that I have not. I was not. I was so unprepared. I was. Oh no! God dang it! It's not the match I was trying to do. No. Ah. Hmm. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, how is everybody? We're actually happy that we are back. Not the match I was supposed to book. <laughs> you're, you're live. I am live. We're back finally. Again with some NWO action. And I messed up on the card here. Darn universe mode. This is not the match supposed to happen. <laughs> How's it going, Mimpirical? <laughs> Nope, that's not it. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. I need to fix this. <laughs> We're supposed to have... <laughs> it's going, working and stuff. Awesome, awesome. It was supposed to be a <laughs> It's supposed to be a debut match. <laughs> ah! You're lucky that he's not here <laughs> yet. <laughs> okay. While we wait, let's hear the word from our sponsor. <laughs> Dr. By our wait, what? It's <laughs> real quick. Wapple famous tacos. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Finally, we're about to have a Davy match. I almost pushed the wrong button. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I hope the fox is okay. Excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. Stephanie Wolf, imposter. <laughs> what do you mean, imposter? This was made by somebody. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Make her way down the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. I mean, it's not Jessica Wolf's sister. No. <laughs> Wait, Jessica has a sister? <laughs> Introducing her, making her way to the ring from Beverly Hills, California. This is Debbie Lawler. As that's where you're gonna have a thank you match. 
Okay, we can see Debbie Lawler, the younger sister. There's another one. Yeah, there's another Lawler. <laughs> oh, heck. Justin underscore reside cheered for 100 bits. Welcome back, reside. welcome back, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, I did it too early. That's fine. But up next, it'll be <laughs> represented by Phantom Werewolf. <laughs> No, she doesn't. She is under some kind of mind control by Spencer Charles. What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> and her opponent. I forgot where she's from. Where's my notes? Ah! I'm so unprepared. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> And her opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. This is Stephanie Wolf. <laughs> Stephanie Wolf. Making her GCA debut. Everyone has a price for the million dollar man. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I hope the fox is okay, cause he, cause earlier he was eating a very spicy ramen, but I hope he's not in pain. Please don't die on me. Uh, referee gang, ring the bell. Who the hell is that? Oh, hi, welcome back. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Stephanie Wolf. So is she. Is she in on the VHS Empire with Cindy, or she just established her own gimmick? Uh, she doesn't have a gimmick. <laughs> She's one of those sporty girls who tries too hard. She's the young sister of Tim, of Cindy Lawler. <laughs> one of the sporty girls that tries too hard. Oh no. I mean, she did try to look like her sister, but I said, no, this is not working out, so I guess this is the attire she's going for. <laughs> Fair enough. And now Stephanie, standing with that headlock takeover, dropping down the I'm elbow done. drop, or you know yeah, what I mean. <laughs> oh, now she's targeting the arms and trying to manipulate the arms right down in there. I don't think Sydney's watching her sister get beat up as Sydney is more focused on bigger and better things. That's right. Because in the main event, she'll be competing against Bolpe, that was supposed to be for the number one contender for the Interstar Hybrid Champion. But? Yeah, it's the main event. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> supposed to be angry, 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 angry. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. I had mucus in my mouth, that's why. <laughs> I was trying to spit it out. <laughs> But as you can see here, that Sydney's sister is actually, um... Oh my god! What the heck did you do? What the heck? She just punched the living crap out of her. Debbie, you're supposed to be a chopper. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, Sydney Law's in the minute, man. What in the world is going on? I mean, if you rem... I know we've been a hiatus, but if you remember correctly... <laughs> a little recap from... Weeks ago, it's supposed to be a triple threat match for the number one contender. If we had two two triple threat matches, possibly, Volpe won the the first part of the triple threat, but the other part of the triple threat is supposed to be a triple threat. I said triple threat so many times. <laughs> but <laughs> turn into a four way but, elimination. Yeah, Cindy enter herself. Are you serious? Cindy enter herself to become in that match, and won that match. Hold on, Doc. You okay? <laughs> and now Stephanie got it to the top rope. <laughs> Say one more time, Doc. We had two triple threat matches, supposedly for the number one contender for the Interstar High Ridge Championship. Volpe won the first one. The second one, it was supposed to be a triple threat match, but turned into a fatal four-way 
elimination because Cindy Lower entered herself in that match and won that match. Rumor has that Cindy's wealth is now surpassed even Trish. Wait, what? I don't know. Ball sign and close line. Into the single leg drop kick. There's a reason that girl's from Beverly Hills. Okay, that makes sense. And now, oh, manhandle slam. And to the cover she goes. And there it is. I forgot to put the bets up. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Here is your winner, Stephanie Wolf. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> uh, so there's a, like, there's a bunch of flies in my um, hallway. Oh, no. Like, they're gathering a lot, and a lot, a lot, I mean, to the point where Mike and I are very concerned that there was something happening in one of the apartments. Not bueno. No, no bueno. It's like, oh geez, so we, we're hoping nothing happened. Get some raid. <laughs> no, it's like not that something bad, like something really, really bad. Oh. And we're just like sitting here, like, like they're, some... they're gathering a lot. Oh, like something happened next door. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Well then. So far so good. We're gonna head down to the next match. Yeah, crazy. Looking very crazy. And in extreme rules against Layla Lakura. You make me crazy. I feel like this is a repeat match. Oh well, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I mean, they faced each other before, but they never faced each other in an Extreme Rules match, as now Leila LaCora and Crazy has been going back and forth against each other for a little bit. Yeah, I think I double booked this. I just realized when I'm putting the betting system, it's like, oh, I did this match already. Whoops, oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well. It's the return show. Why not? Rematch. Rematch. <laughs> hey, how you doing, little mama? How you doing, Spring? You're in here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You know what time it is. Oh boy. The following is an extreme rules match schedule for one fall. Making our way to the ring. This is crazy. Crazy coming down with her alarm clock. Because she know it's time to slap into that Sniv Gym. And let's go! The giant Sniv Gym is back, everybody! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. <laughs> Even the guy agrees with me! Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Snacking into a Slim Gym. And now... Oh, the Slim Gym is on fire! Sp Can you stop? Sit down and keep quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I'm aware of the fire, but the engine just drew me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Cochino. Man, she really must like Slim Jim. She, she cut her mouth open trying to open the packets. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that gear used to be white. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> oh my god. Now forward, more fire. Everybody wants to burn the place down. <laughs> and her opponent from what is to Mexico. This is Leila Lucura. Leila Lucura is kind of jealous because she doesn't have a giant Slim Jim walking down in the ring. However, she gets to beat her, her opponent senseless with that bat that's on fire. What the fire truck? I just saw fire somewhere. I... Like... <laughs> My car! <laughs> no! Next... You have a car? Wait a minute. It was a rental. Oh no. That is lit. Oh no. As she is dubbed as the hardcore clown from Mexico. But her extreme rules record is completely pitiful. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, when was the last time you saw Leia LaCroix actually win an Extreme Rules match? Good points. She lost against Anne. She lost against Rhythm. She lost against... Fuck. Oh, no. She didn't lose against CC. However, that was funny as hell how CC won that match without even getting a weapon. <laughs> Don't remind me. That was me. funny. <laughs> Don't remind me. That was a great match. <laughs> But now we're going to see if Crazy can pick up the victory here in this match. Oh, what the f- What in the voodoo? What in the voodoo match just happened? It was an arm drag. <laughs> oh, right Lord hand. Lord and Crazy are now the two combatants that's been going after each other for a bit. And now the combination. She try she's so jealous about the Slim Shim, she wanted to snap off her head. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Springboard. Yeah. Oh, Bulldog! Bulldog. <laughs> Don't worry, we have $5 coupon for Dale's cheap car lot. But every Melissa famous chili dog- wait, what? I'm not buying 200 chili dogs. <laughs> you can forget about it. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Gosh! <laughs> Slapping down on a mad. As Leia LaCora is only receiving out of this entire match thus far, but then now finally on the offense side. Oh, what are you. What, what, what was the point of that? What's going on? <laughs> and a sling blade! blade. And a man to cover! cover. <laughs> it's a Rancho Cucamonga do Dojo and Takaria shop, and every everybody's watching these ladies go at it. But I haven't seen any uh, Rancho Cucamonga ladies come out here yet. No Danny Weaver, no CC, no CC or Katie J, no Melissa, no Ruth, no Sweet Paw. And speaking of Sweet Paw, Sweet Paw, Lil of Koo, and Danny Weaver, alongside with their, uh, where, uh, alongside with their, <laughs> I want to say, student prospects. Prospect. There we yeah. go. Yeah. It's officially became the war game winner of the very first. <laughs> War Games tournament over at the dojo. Could I also tell you that Sweet Paul lost to Judy Flynn? Really? Oh, over at MEW, yep. Oh god. That's upsetting. <laughs> it is upsetting. I'm like, what happened? Hey, Amity, how's it going? She's been tired. She's been tired. She's always been tired. The boat king has always oh, been Jesus. tired. And there she go with her favorite bat. Ow! Ow! Batter up! <laughs> Bacletta. Bacletta. <laughs> oh, face buster! And admittedly, your wrestler is is in action today as well. <laughs> it's now crazy. He's going on the inside, and little Lacora may be on. Oh! Jeez, oh! a cave in! What she got to take out this time? Crazy, bringing up the chair. Oh, yep, she's definitely crazy. They want tables. I mean, yeah, they want tables, but nobody's bringing the tables yet. <laughs> I don't trust chairs. One, two. Oh, kick out. You don't trust chairs, right? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> my reason is not to trust chairs. 
Well, oh, the, the, oh, knee. the running knee. Into the cover she goes. As Grace is slamming on that chair. Mm. Ow! Evil. <laughs> Evil. Evil chair. Not crazy. Oh! Caught her off with the Spanish fly. Crazy's just everywhere. And I do mean Going everywhere. <laughs> what was that? That was a Spanish fly. Oh. Some fish. <laughs> and then uh -oh. caught her off. Oh. Try to go for the fisherman. Whatever. And a nice leg strike by Layla. Layla Cora has been on this. Uh, been trying so hard to put her away. And finally get a victory in her con. That's okay, that would have been a good move. <laughs> no! But not this time. You just put the chair there. Why would you take it out? Oh, you don't like that corner? Okay, let's put it in this corner. <laughs> Up and over, down she goes. To the neck breaker, followed by a double... Butterfly suplex. I almost botched that. <laughs> what in a submission hold is that? Okay. <laughs> Never seen that before. Quack. Uh, the generic kick! Oh, gosh! And make sure that Layla LaCora knows where she is, and Layla LaCora is actually going to find out where she can go from. Go from. Yes. <laughs> Off to the barricade. And she's bringing along with her favorite bat. Oh! Gosh. That sound, though. <laughs> Be right back. Take your time. Oh, excuse me. And back into the ring. And takes the chair off the corner. Yes. And the face buster by Crazy. And a headlock takedown. And a, a duke it? Wait a minute, what? Crazy's been playing a lot of Street Fighter. And oh, biting the hand of Lakura. And a hard punch. Ouch. Is that a coming ahead? No, that was an a duke it. <laughs> and crazy just put away Lucra. Of course. Unbelievable ball. GG. <clears throat> Here is your winner, Crazy. Another victory for Crazy. We'll turn off the lights. <laughs> There she is. Stare into the distance. Yes. <laughs> All right. Whack indeed. Change this real quick. 
Yes, indeed. No, oh, so your money, he's he went, he's in BRB real quick. <clears throat> Eh, how is everybody doing? I know I asked that question so many times. <clears throat> awesome, awesome. Happy to see me, yay. <laughs> And I guess this match has become a another debut match, but we're not gonna have Debbie Lawler coming out this time. <clears throat> After she had a match from uh, Stephanie Wolf. That's <clears throat> enjoying Raw also your show. Awesome. No, we don't have another Lawler. <laughs> There's no other Lawler but Debbie or Cindy. <laughs> but instead, we're gonna give at least try to give everybody a match here, <laughs> the best we can. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from San Juan, Puerto Rico. She is Andrea Rivera. Um, by our lovable Rosa. Thank you for the Agua Redeem. I was choking on ice. Ah. Okay. Rosa, not Rosa, Andrea Rivera. <laughs> Oh gosh! De facto underscore fiasco cheered for 100 bits. You're not living up to the legend, Ghetto. Thank you for the 100 bits. Ah! <clears throat> Making her GCA debut from Manitoba in Canada. This is Maple Manitoba! And I'm pretty sure some of you are confused, like, who is this person? <clears throat> She's coming from the Muscle League, from Muscle Planet, Maple Manitoban. Underscore Fiasco cheered for 100 bits. Ban all masked Riveras. Look, you put 100 bits, but <laughs> there's she is not a Rivera, okay? There's, she's from Canada, okay? Have you not seen the Canadian flag on her shirt? On her bra? On her thing? <laughs> Now strongman and Tetris girls with, with oh no. I also need to talk to you about that later. <clears throat> Into the cover she goes. And a kick out. And up and over. Oh! And I think Fox went MIA. Oh no. <laughs> oh, 
And it looks like the Fox is not feeling well. <laughs> I have told him not to eat that ramen, it's so spicy. But oh well, at least we're trying to get this through now to return to show. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> Hopefully, the Fox will be doing okay. <laughs> yeah. He just told me that the ramen mixed with apple juice is not doing well. Like, oh no. I feel sorry for that. <laughs> he ate spicy ramen, that's what happened. <laughs> and I need to remove that move for a while. <laughs> and double knees to the back. <laughs> As Rivera gonna caught by the with that belly to belly by Maple. And again another belly to belly. And dropping that elbow drop. That's Maple. <laughs> As she's making her GCA debut. Got a pick of Rivera. Dropping that with that power bomb. Ouch. <laughs> and now Rivera gonna bring over Manitoban. Nope. That's Manitoban. Break it off the hole there. Gotta send her off to the ropes. Ow! Looks like a shoulder tackle, but it wasn't effective. And a big splash to the corner. And I left. Ah! Hold on. Okay, now I'm back. <laughs> Wanna pick her up with another power bomb. Jeebus. I think you can already tell the strong style from Maple Manitoban. <laughs> and a kick to the head by Rivera. She's trying to take the pace throughout this match. But hang on. A floater over, but I'm prettier by Rivera. Ah, Kala, how's it going? No, I'm back, don't worry. <laughs> oh, turn herself around into the back, back of Stunner. Only a two count. Yeah, GCA is back. The Fox was here for, for a bit, but then he wasn't feeling good. Now Rivera gonna drop the knee. Multiple knees. Oh! He was ready for hot wrestling action with GCA. Yay! <laughs> Baby! Playing the ramen should have had it, yeah. It was a spicy ramen. <laughs> I counted two. And Rivera just joined the haymaker trying to wear down Manitoban. It's all about that boom. And Rivera got to go to the top row and she's got to go for the elbow drop to the back. Turn herself around into the cover. The maple kicks out. And she's measuring up here to Maple. Trying to go whatever she was trying to do, but a counterattack by Maple. Oh no. And she calls this the Maple Leaf Lock. Oh no. I still couldn't figure out why all the matches yesterday went so quickly. Oh no. <laughs> that Maple's so good. Yep. Yeah. She's trying to be kind of one of the muscle wrestlers there is. Going for the big splash. What is that? It's 
that a Canadian <laughs> slushy? <laughs> Again with the arm manipulation to the double knees. Push her back. Well, it's maple syrup, of course. That makes sense. <laughs> Gotta pick her up. But no! Rivera turned herself around, aiming that leg. And that drug had no effect at all. There's a combination by Rivera. And to the cover she goes. We got one reading for Rivera, one reading for Maple. No, up on the shoulders. Oh no, the Canadian torture rack. <laughs> please don't tap. Please don't snap. Please don't take a nap. We don't want to make Rosa angry if she sees this. Oh, but Rivera managed to break out of that submission hold. Oh, and a spear. No, do the body maples all over in the hungry for action, eh? <laughs> what is this? A double backbreaker? Why are y'all trying to make taps? <laughs> and back into the corner. Got to pick her up with a scoop slam. Got freaking hoser, I know. <laughs> Try to do whatever she was trying to do there. Oh, face first. And Manitoban with that suicida. Going to bring down on Rivera. Oh, face first. That's by the power of Puerto Rican. Oh! oh. <laughs> Count of five, referee Grace. That's Maple Manitoba's trying to get catch her breath. Trying to put blow my nose here. And we got Rivera picking up a victory. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Rivera with the W. Here's your winner, Andrea Rivera. <laughs> Why are you booing? Are you booing because a Canadian lost to a Puerto Rican? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I mean, Fox 
like I said, Fox was here earlier, but the ramen didn't make him feel good. <clears throat> I'll tell her, like, do not finish it. Do not finish eating it. It's gonna make you feel bad. <laughs> Quack. <clears throat> Quack indeed. All right. Oh, the show must go on. I need to get all these matches out of the way. Winner, yeah, I did pick the winner because we're up next. We're gonna have another match before we go to halftime. Pretty sure everybody missed the halftime show. <laughs> All right, here we go. A falling contest is scheduled for one fall. Making a way to the rear from Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> This is, you know, I, I think she's from Tokyo. <laughs> I don't know. Pyro, she got pyros now? Okay, from from Yokio, got it. <laughs> <laughs> and her opponent, also from Tokyo, Japan. She is a TKO from Tokyo. Right, no. <laughs> we haven't seen Rai Hondo in a long time, and now. He's gonna, he's gonna be competing against someone else from from her hometown. The piggy tells yes. <laughs> there we go, referee Grace ring the bell. Black indeed. TK up from Tokyo, TK up from Tokyo. <laughs> Somebody got in. The only Fox were here, will be here for a long. <laughs> I know she, he be saying that. <laughs> and before we all, uh, we have all the wrestlers from Japan in the battle royale. Oh no. <laughs> Hondo, she is. Well, she still use, has her boxing skills, just like her father. Oh no! Oh gosh! Giving the beat down to you know Arai. Oh gosh! And down goes you know Arai. <laughs> Regardless of that you know Arai, I don't think she has any boxing background. But as for Rai Hondo, who is the daughter of Piston Hondo. Decided to come in the sport of wrestling. But she also has a very hard head. Don't let the pigtails fool you. Oh! 
A body blow. And a... Goodness gracious. Oh, I mean, you can already tell the aggression is showing from Rai Hondo. And a kick to the back. Okay. And dropping that leg drop. Trying to separate the tacos. <laughs> and then, you know, Rai just trying to turn around into the Bulldog. Just a regular Bulldog. And stomping the back to Rai Hondo. And trying to hurt the arm there. And this time, you know, got to fly high with a double stomp. And mainly in for the cover she goes, but not enough to put away Hondo. Throwing those kicks one more time. Gotta bring her over with the oh! I just scare every time she goes up to the top row. Why? <laughs> Why are you afraid of that? Sending off the ropes. Out. Miscommunication there. Oh! Kick to the face! And she's just taunting away. Don't think that's a good idea to taunt Hondo. Immediately into the cover she goes. Dropping that knee because I had to restart matches a couple times due to animation acting up. Oh no. Oh, and a double axe handle. That's into the cover she goes. And a kick out. Really, is there an issue with the double stops? Hmm. And a kick to the back of the head. And a close line. And now you know Rai is measuring up to Rai Hondo, whatever she was trying to do here. Into the famous her. Caught her off guard. GG. But can a kick out by Rai Hondo. Oh, and a double stomp. And rolls out of the out of the apron. As you know, Rai just gotta bring it down to the arm. No more OFY. Wait, what? <laughs> Trying to catch a breather there as she's just walking across the ring. Around the ring. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> no! And knees to the head and into the cover right away. And one more time kicks out. One finisher, you know. I, oh. I remember the previous match of season anyway with one finisher. That makes sense. <laughs> but like I said, I guess it all depends on the sliders. I have been missing all the sliders. And there she goes. The boxing attack by Hondo. And I think Yuno know, might be in trouble. Gotta take a trip. The TKO from Tokyo. Unbelievable! You know, managed to kick out right after that TKO from Tokyo. And throwing those punches, and now gotta work the bag on Hondo. Into the cover immediately. 
Referee Grace? Referee Grace? <laughs> Referee Grace! Oh my god, Referee Grace! You... You blind referee! <laughs> oh, the rope is right there, but referee Gray decided to ignore it. <laughs> it was your winner, you know. All right. <laughs> yes, wow, indeed. <laughs> Didn't even notice a slide. It was right there too. <laughs> she was on the ropes. Wow. <laughs> Good thing you're ready for it. Right Excuse me. All right, we're in a half time. I know some of you missed this, missed the half time, so this is now the time while I do the matches. So spam your emotes, as always. Here we go.
<laughs> All right. We are back. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. So many emotes. <laughs> oh my god, I guess I see so many rubies. I see ruby emotes. What is this? Is that a cat twerking? <laughs> Looks like a Garfield twerking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Harlock, how's it going? Frozen Queen, I see you there. How's it going? <laughs> All right. I'll probably turn off the other ones. Since Fox left. Because he wasn't feeling well. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Oh, thank you for the resell. <laughs> uh, 23 freaking months. Holy crap. Let's <laughs> go and chill and relax and awesome. <laughs> All right. What the? What? What? Bean! What's this? Okay, I had no idea what happened there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that dancer off the stage. I can say good evening. <laughs> All right. Up next, this things. There's been a few going on between Money Incorporated and the new when couple of newcomers. The Envil dancer on Money. Oh yes, they're always dance. Here we go. Pyro! The following count is in schedule for one fall. Excuse me, I was burping. <laughs> the following contest is catcher for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Mobius. This is the Flying Puma known as Hanko Hall. Hanko Fairhall representing from the XPWL has finally come to GCA. <laughs> Why is she wearing a muscle? I don't know. <laughs> oh, great. We're getting the hot pockets. Yes. <laughs> now, is she buying? I don't know. She's a puma. I'm pretty sure she does not bite. <laughs> Opponents representing the Money Incorporated, accompanied by Penny from Manchester, England. I think <laughs> from Manchester, England, she is the most dangerous woman in the UK. Jolanta. Yes, boo this woman. Everyone has a price for the million dollar man. <laughs> That makes so much sense, but okay. <laughs> Representing from the Money Incorporated. Why you laugh? <laughs> what, I can't laugh? <laughs> oh, look. What the heck? There's an error trying to think of that string element. Uh oh. I mean, oh, look, it's one of the Money Incorporated. Nobody can remember. <laughs> oh, no. She is a former Interstar Hybrid Champion. I mean, that is something, no? <laughs> uh, I got a notification that... 
Oh, there's so many cheers. Okay. <laughs> there are humanitarian. All the money. They're humanitarian. Oh no. Ouch. Already starting out with a bang. Hannibal Pharaoh representing from the XPWL. Maybe if she can get out of the under trash, we don't know her better. But she, they both went to the same boarding school together. Both of. Three elements, so it's telling me that it's disconnected from three elements. Eh, I'll check that later. It's fine. But uh, people who are dumb enough to cross trace go missing. Oh no! I like redacting. <laughs> sooner or later, sooner or later, Rebel gonna say, say the name! <laughs> people who are dumb enough to cross trace go missing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm made to the restroom. No, not the restroom. <laughs> See? I said it before and say it again. Say her name. <laughs> yeah, because she's she's beating guts her guts out. Oh gosh. No! Oh! A float over backbreaker as Hanako Farrow's trying to hang on. As Trish trying to tell her faction to go after the newcomers, just like Hanako Farrell. Or at least like Brianna Del Rey. And a break the arm and a kick to the back. Per tail, Jellica make your so finger. Wait, what? No! You can't pull a Puma's tail. Speaking of that, I'm trying to trying to get up and hand it. Uh, excuse me! <laughs> You're lucky the the owner of the wrestler's not here. <laughs> Into the float over. Into the bed breaker. <laughs> <laughs> and now going for the suplex. A snap suplex. That's a compliment. <laughs> I'm worried by your compliments, facto. And dropping that DDT. And I don't know if everybody noticed. Every time they roll out of the ring, they also go out of the ring. The like sight they know. He's basically the Shiba Money Inc. Oh no. <laughs> oh, and a hard clothesline. Well, wait a minute. Hanago rolls her up. And blocked that drop kick, but no, hanging on with a German suplex. A released German suplex. Shit, not she. Okay, I thought I thought you were I thought you misspelled her. <laughs> well, excuse me for wanting to lift her tail and check her temperature. No, <laughs> my God. <laughs> my God. Am I gonna put a restraining order for every? Bipedal animal that are competing here. <laughs> yeah, sending off the ropes. Drops down. And an elbow strike. Off the ropes one more time into the leapfrog. Drops down. I love this suit. <laughs> oh, no. It would be like the LA phone bug. So many restraining orders. <laughs> and a kick to the bat by Jellica and a double stomp. My gosh. And now Jellica to the top rope. And she's waiting for Hanako to stand up. 
Oh, caught in midair with a power slam. And a kick out. Yeah, can't keep me from them all. Oh, no. Off to the corner she goes. Oh, here we go. Turn herself around. As she finally do it here in GCA, she calls this the Flying Puma Connects. To the cover she goes, but a kick out. The Van Tilnator, oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, Flying Puma. Yep, yeah, she calls that the Flying Puma, because she is a Puma. Wait, is she gonna do it again? I, I was about to say. I'm wearing a pair right now. Why the frick is wrong with you? The fact oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. Miscalculated there. Let's jug out the center off the ropes. And to the backbreaker. Biting the hit. Hold on. Dropping that elbow drop. And a jawbreaker. Gotta go for the float over Diddy T. Goodness gracious. Oh, and a battering elbow. Will this be enough to put away Hannah Go? No. And just stood up and looking straight in the eyes to Jellica. Slaps away. And a drum kick to the back of the head. We have that special edition pair. The current pair are the red and black Batman. Red and black Batman. So that's very nice. Very nice. <laughs> and now Hannah Farrell Goes to the middle row with the big splash. Oh, and a kick to the mix section. But Hanako coming back, firing up. Center off. And a kick to the head there. And what is this? A roll off neck breaker by Hanako. But not enough to put away Jellica. And what is this? Oh! And I think this might be it for Jellica. I gotta go for that twist of fate. No! Jellica counters that twist of fate. Second time? No! She countered twice. What the heck? I guess after a long hiatus, has everybody been studying everybody? <laughs> Still sick, but feeling better. Oh, no. Go! Oh! And trying to knock her off her feet as Hanako blocks the big boot. Page Turner. I hope you're feeling better, de facto. And now going to the top row as Hanako got us fly high with a crossbody. And dropping that elbow drop. And again. And one more for the measure. Oh, countered by the hip toss. And she kipped up. Oh no. Mm 
Uh, okay. Go in and now make up your mind. Off the ropes. Oh, center high flying. And missed the elbow one more time. And a boot to the face. Lock up again. Going for the page turner. She is not done with Jellica. Got to turn herself around. Is she going to do it again? She's going to do it again. Got to give another taste from Hanako Farrow with the flying Puma. One more time. Look to the leg cover. And Hanako Farrell defeats Jellica. Unbelievable. Here is your winner, Hanako Farrell. Pretty good match. I hope this, I hope the minute man won't, will probably top this off. Who knows? We'll see. I don't think Hanako will go near you, de facto. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Believe me. I still misread that something as hair fall. <laughs> oh, no. Did I misspell it? No, it's fair hole. <laughs> She's gonna come in here and then we'll cheat. <laughs> That's up to her, okay? <laughs> That's up to her. <laughs> That's up to her. <laughs> One of these days, she's gonna come back to the, to the chat and you're like, no. <laughs> she might not know you at all. She'll probably will when she, see, when she sees the VOD. <laughs> but, huh. But you know what? I'm pretty sure this, this match, match is gonna be interesting because, oh boy. I need to remind myself not to eat before streaming. Why do you want to crush my animal <laughs> dreams? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> yes, your other girl's coming. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Frozen Kingdom, this is Queen Usa. That thing be thing. I think I know the reason why you don't want to ha want you to have a hero. No too dark. Never invite the fact of the ACW stream. Oh no. <laughs> No, 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 I mean, I would like to see the reaction of the fact in other shows. <laughs> Gotta make an anime about me and all the deep, all the animal girl. I think there's already an anime close to that, to be honest. <laughs> and her opponent from the Pure Heart City, this is Mariah. Go. Oh gosh. De facto. I mean, not de facto. Phantom Dragon. I am so sorry. 
I was about to say, the fact though, thank you for the raid. <laughs> That's my bad. Phantom Dragon, thank you for the raid. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The fox was here earlier, but but then he had to leave early because he wasn't feeling well. So the show must go on since I already started. <laughs> Uh. Uh, free grace ring the bell. Blame the ramen, yes. Hashtag blame the ramen. <laughs> And starting off in this match between Frozen Queen and Mariah Aiko. Absolutely. Also, shout out to Fan the Dragon for the raid. Not gonna lie, I typed something and it was a bit much even for me. Really? Too hot for the stream? <laughs> Say hi to my girlfriend, Laura? Who's Laura? Or it's it's your girlfriend right beside the screen. Hello, Laura. How's it going? <laughs> I am so sorry if I'm being salty right now. <laughs> I blame the fact. <laughs> Dummy. Yeah. Ow. Knee to the face. Ow. And another kick, goodness gracious! And lock it in in that sleeper hold. Ow! And send it off to the ropes. Miscommunication between the two. Lock up again, but Queen Elsa. Gotta pick up with the Yurinagi! That was to time you out something? Oh my god. I don't think I ever timed out anybody just yet. <laughs> Please, for the love of that is holy, no shot to Elsa's Taco. You all remember what happened? At oh no, don't remind me! <laughs> don't remind me! <laughs> Yet being the word, yeah. <laughs> Into the elbow shot by Mariah Aiko. Lock up again. Sending off the ropes. He blocks the elbow. What the frick was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> That's a weird animation. Going on there. <laughs> Trust me, Queen Elsa hasn't forgotten. Nope, you. <laughs> yeah, what the fox? <laughs> and grabbing the leg, turn herself around. Connor, oh no! Caught her in the lock there, and then the Queen Elsa tried to break away. Break out of that hold. And now gonna pick up Mariah. Went to the backbreaker. Oh, and a spear by the Queen. Was it the announcer? Do he knows the official stuff? <laughs> hey, Sierra, how's it going? <laughs> And here we go, Queen Elsa locking it in into the figure four, transitioning into the figure eight. And she got a tap, and she got a snap, and she got a uh, nap. I want to say nap in this position. And then face first to the mat. 
And then got to pick her up with a stalling suplex. No, counter said with that close sign from behind. And Queen Elsa just cheering to the crowd. And keeping her distance between her and Mariah and coming back with the back chop and the royal slap to the face. And then off to the ropes. Ducks the line. Backbreaker. And nearly into the cover, but Mariah Eichel kicks out. And keep it her distance one more time. Into the spear she goes. And she's trying to go for the figure eight. Oh, that was a bad idea. I like Elsa, but she can't be beating my own baby. Oh, no. Because as long as she doesn't go on the list of Elsa. <laughs> Stopping on the leg one more time. Oh, hang on a minute. Rolling up for the cover. As Queen Elsa managed to kick out and now rolls to the outside. But Mariah. You miscalculated there. Try it again. Why would you position yourself into the corner? Oh no! Into a tornado suplex! Good kick to the face. I mean, this is not looking good for Queen Elsa because she's trying to hang on. Coming back with the elbow strike. Forearm strike, actually. And moving away from the ropes. But no. That's Queen Elsa trying to stand up, fighting back. Leg lock into the STF. She got a snap, she got a tag, who knows? Still hanging on. Rolls her up into the super kick. Throwing those chops one more time. No, one more time with the handmakers. Locking it up again. And everybody getting the beat down. Goodness gracious. We still have a main event to worry about. Why are you still going this long? My gosh, I need to go back to the sliders. <laughs> And head first to the mat. Lock up again. Bringing it back to the ring. Oh! And then into the natural selection. Using the ropes as leverage. But that wasn't enough for the victory. Queen Elsa's already angry. Let's bring it back over to the corner. Mariah just counters it. Into the cover she goes. And a kick out. And what is this? Oh, I forget what this admission. Oh, I love how much better Elsa seems to be firing now that I made her heel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, being a heel is fun. <laughs> then are off to the corner. No. Oh, boot to the face. Well, heel to the face. I just noticed how's that heel bending like that? <laughs> and Mariah.
Reyes in trouble. Blocks the chop. Hits his or her Karana. And she's still hanging on. Oh! Oh! Down goes the queen. Moriah is still fighting back. <laughs> Coming back with the Insiguri. Sending across the ring. And look at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and throw those makers. The Mariah counters. Well, blocks it. Back to the corner. Oh, what is this? Up and over. Backflip. Ducks the line. Coming back with that. Lariat. To the cover she goes. No. My goodness. We're not even close to pinning this. We still got more matches to go. Come on. <laughs> And into the submission hole one more time. Oh no, turn herself around. I forgot what this move is called, but this is painful to watch. Oh my goodness. My gosh. Oh, it looks like Mariah Ag is now on the list of the folks of Elsa. <laughs> Turn her like a pretzel. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was a hat pad. It was a hat pad. She is dog. Yes, she is. Yes, she's on the list. Oh boy. It was your winner, Mariah Nico. One of these days, we need to see Queen Elsa, a long list of names. <laughs> See that tongue? No, the fact that I am not going there. <laughs> I am not going there. <laughs> Sit your booty down. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, the match, the match has already started. <laughs> there we go. I was like, forgot where she's from, so I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> A following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. This is Victoria Salazar. Oh, oh, it is my agile powerhouse baby. Oh, yes. Owned by a midi affliction. Hmm. 
Pyros. Yes. And correct me if I'm wrong, I may have written down her full name. Her full name is Victoria Salazar de los Santos Hernández Fernández González Rojas Calavios. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I got that right. On <laughs> Here we go. And her opponent. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> and her opponent. <laughs> she has returned. From, from Austin, Texas. She is the outlaw werewolf. Cassidy James. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Cassidy James has becoming one of the since the beginning of NWOW, she has become one of the top stars and she is trying the best she can to at least earn a championship opportunity but fail but fail miserably because she has be she became very close to capture a goal and now she wants to put Victoria Salazar to the test referee Jane ring the bell Oh, biting the forehead already. I'm not sure if Victoria has ever faced a werewolf before. And a far away slam. Fall, fall, away. fall away slam. I am slurring my words. <laughs> Into the hard close line. And Salazar with the power slam. As she had made her debut over the house show. Everyone needs to face a werewolf at least once in their life. Yes, I am not drunk. I don't drink. I really don't drink, honestly. <laughs> Man, coming back with a back suplex. Cassidy James. Using the headbutts. I mean, we got werewolf, we got cats, we got pumas, we got foxes, pandas, bird. What more do you want? <laughs> Man, she's giving the beat down to Salazar. And turn the table, we. We can have Ernesto bring you a margarita. <laughs> zombies? Oh, uh, well. Zombies, they're lurking about somewhere. Panda that knows four martial arts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and a strength, but Salazar, goodness gracious. And giving the beat down there. Top in the back. And Victoria gonna climb to the top. What the? <laughs> A certain mermaid wants your location. <laughs> Spinebuster. Oh! And what is this? Into a dragon sleeper. Margarita nice sounds fun actually. I have I haven't had a good power peaking. Oh no. <laughs> I think I only had margaritas before during my high school reunion, and that was it. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Margarita and taco. That's a good combination. Fun back our spine buzzer is in honor of Arn Anderson. Nice. My summer pug read the D campaign. My character's name Marcus Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Morrison. <laughs> okay. 
I need to take a break while I'm reading the long name. <laughs> Whoa. The Texan going after, I forget where Salazar is from. I'm gonna say New York. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> the fact that gets a W <laughs> for the name. <laughs> Kick to the midsection, bringing to the barricade. Oh, blocks the punch. Houston, Texas. Ah, oh, so we got a Texan fight going on here. <laughs> Victoria from Houston, Texas, going after Cassidy Jane from Austin, Texas. Oh, and a box shot by Cassidy James. But it wasn't enough to put her away. Wow. That was new. And a spine buster by Cassidy James. Is she going to do it again? Another buckshot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess one wasn't enough, but another one took her out. But goodness, just turn her inside out. Yeah, sh show it three times. <laughs> show it three times. Goodness gracious. Here is your winner, Cassidy James. Unbelievable. Oops, push the wrong button. <sighs> All right. We got one more match before the main event. Because the main event will be Volpe and versus Cindy Lawler. And the winner will become the number one contender for the Interstar Hybrid Champion and will face Dollface for the title. And we don't know if it's going to be which Preppersburg view show we're going to be doing. Because it's possible. <clears throat> it's possible. <laughs> that. Sh that we might go over to Summertime Nexus. For the next preview show. Here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, company by Isabella Ramon. From No Pants Nation, this is Velvet Dove. Oh my god! Exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> I got Nevermore coming down to the ring as Bill the Dub. Why? Were you waiting for that? <laughs> Were you really waiting for that to bat me? <laughs> Dang it, Mr. Trash. <laughs> uh. 
Here we go. And her opponent. From Cloudsdale, she is 20% cooler. This is Rainbow Dish. Ironically, we're using the Prime Month Arena. Why not? <laughs> if I can remember correctly, Rainbow Day was a former 20% cooler, 80% for refrigerator weight. What? <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> don't get me started with that. <laughs> Fun fact, none of my clouds have ever beaten Izzy win a title in the line. Oh, okay. The more you know, the more you know. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, both had the same idea, but nobody connect. I guess this is the time for Bubble Dub to finally hug a rainbow. Izzy's a, a badass. Yes, she is. <laughs> this is the check that took Izzy's soul real time. Yep, this is exactly. <laughs> I was about to say that after somebody bat me. <laughs> that Rainbow Dad was a former soul real champion. <laughs> I took the title off Isabella Ramon. And now it's time for Velvet Dog to hug a rainbow. And off the ropes. Oh! And a hard clothesline. And a. Just a rainbow foot. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. She hugged Rainbow Dash. Went that belly to belly. And into the cover she goes. Only a matter of time for a two count. Yes, all the hugs. <laughs> and then whatever she was trying to do, oh, with the arm breaker. They see OP, so probably she's not in goals yet. Oh no. And there she go with a headlock. Roll her up. A leg drop. And then dropping that knee to the leg. And Rainbow Dash gonna fly high with that elbow drop from the sky. And merely into the cover. This man wrote the book in OP and goals. <laughs> And what's going on here? Oh, oh careful, Isabella. <laughs> and there she goes. Goodness gracious, give me the beat down. Oh! I guess we decided to go fight to the outside. Don't take your lettuce. Wait, what? Not the lettuce. Wait, hug her hard. Her, she stole your bag of lettuce. What? <laughs> what is going on? And to lock up. That's a count of two. Count of three. Cap Wabe Weatherman is carrying me on. Back into the ring. And now Rainbow Dash. Got to fly one more time to the uh, back of the elbow. Back, back of the elbow. To the back of Velvet Dove. And kicks out one more time. That's an awkward position. What the heck? <laughs> uh, question. Are we not saying phrasing anymore? Which phrasing are you talking about? Oh, the Dash Rider. Oh, and almost 
almost put away though. Look at the frustration on Rainbow Dash. Oh, the close line from the floor. She put a crush in her face though. I did not see that happening. Uh oh, setting up one more time. But no. Blocks it and the rear view. It was rainbow. -y. Oh my gosh. Wanna be the first. <laughs> I mean, she does have a picture of her head though on her crush area. <laughs> And took a dive to the outside. Sadly, <laughs> get dinner first. Combo. <laughs> Lock up again. Sitting to the announcer table. This is not even a main event. Is... Don't break the table, please. We still got the main event to keep going. <laughs> and rake the back but ponies do not have a back and now coming back strong with those close lines sounds like you have a mouthful I'm trying to speak the best I can I haven't streamed a wrestling show in a while okay <laughs> I'm sorry for my lips running off the ropes drops down leapfrog Rear view, but miss. Oh, and a reverse dash rider. <laughs> oh, and puts away Delva Dove. Regardless of the fact that she still has to choose a championship title match. <laughs> she is a Mosh Pit Rumble winner, but got defeated by Rainbow Dash. That is uncalled for. It was worth it. Well, she got all the hugs. She get the hug of Rainbow. Here is your winner, Rainbow. Now, she's so P. Let's get her. Oh, no. <laughs> and that is why she's 20% cooler. I got to taste the rainbow. No, don't say it like that. <laughs> <sighs> Oh no. That's. Oh my god. That's very concerning the way you say that you got the taste of the rainbow. <laughs> now it's skills. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, as you will hold her for, will hold her in front of the fan, you'll get the list. <laughs> no. uh, <clears throat> okay. Now here's the question. Nostra fan. <laughs> uh, I had the mesh cart written down in my notes. That wasn't technically the semi main event. I did have another match set up before the main event. So, I'm asking you in the chat Do you want one more match before the main event? <laughs> okay. Yes, because the next, yeah, one more match before the main event. <laughs> one more match before the main event, because <laughs> the, the match I had this before was supposed to be this and then before the main event. It's not even 9 p.m. yet. I want six more matches before the main event. Oh, gosh. 
I need to rest too, you know. And plus, since a fox has to <clears throat> leave very, very early, because blame the ramen. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> One more match before the main event. Because this is the match <laughs> I did set up. <laughs> it's Midnight Farm to me. Hello from yesterday. Excuse me. I've been spelling her name wrong this whole time. Actually, we don't even know how to spell her name this whole time. The hiccups and then the burping and all this stuff happening at the same time for my. They were in Rancho Cucamonga tonight. It's only 9 p.m. for all of you. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. And I will also give the shout out to Bless you, Bless you Melissa. No, not her. <laughs> I will also want to give a shout out to the Upper Pony. In case you didn't know. I'm joining myself. <laughs> In case you didn't know, this is actually the rematch. <laughs> This is actually a rematch that was that happened over at the Outbucks Pony channel who had his pay-per-view show. <clears throat> so Dollface took the victory to Scarlet. And now this is a rematch <laughs> from that from that from the kickoff show from ACW. I mean, what do you mean, uh, it's in wings? Okay. And she's supposed to come out with championship, but what happened? Right, I forgot to set that up in universe mode. After everything had to... <laughs> Wait, ACW Prison Rules rematch? Yes. <laughs> and I forgot to set the championship on universe mode. <laughs> oh, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> The following guns is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring. From your darkest fears, this is all fails. The silence of violence. My immersion. What about your immersion? <laughs> the silence of violence. Who is the? <laughs> yeah, supposed. I forgot to set the championship belts. <laughs> <laughs> the universe mode after everything got wiped and we had to restart everything <laughs> Delphi who is the GCA internet champion the NWOW Interstar hybrid champion no it's not a title match <laughs> it's not a title match <laughs> I start bettings? I think I did. I have not. <clears throat> and her opponent from Harajuku, Japan. She is the Gothic Striker, Scarlet Fire! Wait, I didn't say that. Oh, of course, my imaginary. Wait, what? Your imaginary girlfriend? If she's imaginary, then who's in the ring? <laughs> yeah, like, she's right there. I mean, unless you're thinking about the lore of Foster's home of imaginary friends, then yes, I can believe that. <laughs> no, her status with me is imaginary. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
pickle photo. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Let's go. We oh got. She looks fun. <laughs> I mean, she is created by Madi. Until I decided to upgrade her appearance. <laughs> All right, here we go. The rematch from ACW Prison Rules match. Didn't catch her name. Scarlet Fire. Already with a knee. <laughs> Into the luck of one more time. Going for the power slam. I mean, scoop slam. Ah. <laughs> 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 Por qué, ay Dios mío, por qué ustedes me hacen bully a la bestia. Ah. <laughs> Ay, cochino, todos ustedes con su pedorro. Aquí tenemos Dollface contra Scarlet Fire. <ríe> sí, puedo hablar, señor de facto. Aunque aquí tenemos la pelea, o bueno, la lucha contra Dollface y Scarlet Fire. Con la revancha del pago por ver. Y contando las 7 horas. Oh, un puñetazo en el estómago. El ego. Mi. Sin mis disconectividad. No sé cómo hablar correcto. Y dándole un suple y inmediatamente a cubrir. Se ve fuego, pero no sé fuego. No sé. Y luego otro piernazo sobre Scarlet Fire. Y levantando a Dollface y dándole el, la rodillazo en la cara y solamente en dos solamente dos dos y Dollface está dolorido pero aquí peligro 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 la patada de Scarlett aquí cubierto en el la caída, pero no solamente dos aquí en Telemundo <laughs> y sobre Telemundo <laughs> oh gosh, why would you torture me like this <laughs> flatliner by Dollface <laughs> Turn herself around, going for the cross stitches! Into the cover! And a rope break immediately! I haven't not used the instant replay for a while. <laughs> right there with the rope break! I don't understand a word, but it's a little mix. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Into the turnbuckle. Instead of a little payback for what Melissa did. Oh my god. It was not. <laughs> you know what? I. Okay. <laughs> I. I. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Bless you, Melissa. That's your fault, Melissa. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> You made the queen angry. I am dying over here. <laughs> now look what you did. You pulled a Melissa doll face. <clears throat> and tossing Scarlet. <laughs> Oh! 
Count of three. This might be the most effective thing ever. <laughs> what I used to watch this show on Telemundo it has super. Uh, God dang it, effective. <laughs> More like Dolphin and she. Well, yeah, she pulled up Melissa. <clears throat> Down to seven, back into the ring. Continue in the action here. Dolph is sitting there off the ropes. And a uh, blue this press. Into the cover immediately. And not enough to put away Scarlet. Dolph is desperate. Desperate right now. <laughs> But I started to understand the shell from pretty much. I want to see her as a cross stitches one more time. My gosh. So close. Go. Oh. Trying to go for another cross stitch one more time, but no. Caught her off guard and into the bulldog. Well, good. That's the way we learn second language immersion. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it by just understanding the language or <laughs> another cross stitches? Dirt times a charm. And there it is. Your winner, Dolphins! The silence of Dinah's earn one more time another victory over Scarlet. <clears throat> yes. to get out the universe mode because I want to make this fair as possible. <clears throat> okay. It's that time already. Okay. Is that time already? <clears throat> Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Is I am very sure because Damn. <laughs> I think Xerby said like 12 more matches. No! <laughs> I know it's late. Well, I know it's 9 o'clock on my end, but I really need to like rest up. <laughs> I need to rest my voice. <laughs> because it's time. Let me have this, please. <laughs> it's time for the main event. <laughs> Ow. It is for the number one contender for the Interstar Hybrid Champion, and the winner of this match will face Doughface. 12, 15, something like that. No. <laughs> That's what I heard. You heard nothing. <laughs> 
No, we're not in Chattanooga. We're in Rancho Cucamonga. Shut up, prompt. <laughs> This is your main event. The following contest is scheduled for one foot. It's for the number one contender for the Interstar Hybrid Championship. Introducing first from Planet Kitsunia, this is Mr. Pei the Fox. Ironically, ironically, <laughs> the match between Bope and Cindy Lawler has almost come a full circle because last year Bope made her debut at Summertime Nexus went up against Cindy Lawler <clears throat> And her opponent from Beverly Hills, California. She is your Jasser Size Wheaties Workout Teacher from your home. If you buy your VHS at the kiosk, this is Cindy Lawler. We almost come for a full circle for the number one contender for the Interstar Hybrid Championship and we'll face Dollface. And we have resources that Cindy Lawler has been training really hard for this. Cindy Lawler has been training really hard for this moment. <clears throat> Let's see how well she do in this match after all that training from a certain person. Oh, Dragon Suplex. Hang on a minute. It seems like Cindy Luller has been showing up some new moves. I mean, uh -huh. <clears throat> and up and over into the sunset flick to the outside. Well, anyone else glad July is over with? Did something happen in July? I missed it. <laughs> Besides the fireworks and stuff. Lock up again. Sending Volpe up to the corner and elbow strike. Turn herself around and into locking up. What is this? This is a new side for Cindy Lawler. Giving the beat down there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll give you my condolences. And what is this? Turn herself around. Into the Russian leg sweep. It seems like Cindy Lawler is more, more focused than before. She's working on the leg. Oh, kick to the miss section. <clears throat> and stomping ground. Oh god, how? Oh. De facto underscore fiasco cheered for 100 bits. Mariella rolled down from Cerro and Conductor is the entire reason I learned any Spanish. Thank you for the 100 bitties, and now it's good, good for you, I guess. <laughs> oh, what is this? And putting the pulling the hairs on Cindy Luller. Ouch! 
Okay. Such disrespect. But now Cindy Lawler. Grab a hole to the arm. Oh, look, more animal. What? <laughs> I'm about to say, what animals that I forgot? Volpe the fox. <laughs> Plus, I'm sick of this heat bringing on the cold of well, Yes, the heat is. I am actually sweating too. <laughs> I love how Seven Punk the Raggy called into Pinker Skin. Have an ooh animated cat girl as a little mascot? Oh my. Well, oh, slap to the head. And then a springboard DDT by Bope. As she got immediately going for the cover. Kicks out. Off the rope she goes, drops down. And Bope caught her off guard. And a kick to the chest. <clears throat> yeah, this seat is really, really hot. It did rain a little bit, but that wasn't enough to cool off over here. <laughs> and then Cindy Lawler, what is this? Fisherman Suplex! This is a new side of Cindy Lawler's aggression here. Throws a punch. Volpe with the kick. And now gotta work on the leg. Oh, blocks the punch. And now Sydney. Oh, try to go for the German, but she Volpe land her feet. What is this? A oh, wheelbarrow stunner! Gun for the cover! But well, what is this? Cindy Lillard kicked out? Unbelievable. And now Volpe going up over with a double knees to the back! Our Virginia's out of position. But Sydney kicks out. How? I guess all that training from Sydney Lur has been paying off. <laughs> and a drop kick from the top rope. Into the leg sweep. Into the cover. And nearly Sydney Luller trying to go for the quick cover. Only bad enough that Cindy Lawler's uh, intense training has been paying off. <clears throat> and what if there's another fisherman suplex but didn't hold that bridge for long? And Bobby coming back with a running drop kick. <laughs> and now Bobby to the top row, gonna bring down with that elbow drop. And on to the outside, Volpe's. Looks like she's set it up here and she's got to die with this corkscrew dive right on top of Cindy. Bring him back into the ring. Let's bring my engine. Oh no. And head first in the mat. Cindy trying to kick out of it and she's trying to fight back. And now Volpe firing up. kick to the back and Cindy is really just hanging on in there really much different from last year summertime Nexus and now Volpe 
on the middle ropes. Waiting for Sydney Luller. Ow. Kick to the face. Oh, what is this? Sydney caught her midair. And a two count. And now Sydney got to drop the knee to the arm on Volpe. And to the lock, leg lock, right? <laughs> leg lock. <laughs> and now Bobby trying to break out of that hold. Whatever, whatever they're both trying to do here, trying to earn the opportunity for the Interstar Hybrid Championship. And Bobby to the drop down. Lexi and walking all over Cindy. And you got to do it one more time. Oh, Sydney counters it. My God. Duck facing. <laughs> I'm facing away. Oh, and here goes the arm bar. She got a tap. She got a snap. Who knows? I'm a bit scared what's going to happen right now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now on to the rub hanging singing there and then working on the arm using the ropes oh she 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 blocked the clothesline I know this is the third time you see from every match is Cindy well, careful referee James and knocking out Volpe. Sydney is firing up and targeting on the arm. She knows what she is trying to do. I mean, honestly, this is the longest match we've ever seen from Sydney here on GCA. <laughs> And kicked in the mixed section. And what is this? Grabbing the arm into the suplex with the arm in position. And dropping the elbow. My gosh. Kick to the mixed section one more time. And here we go. Again with another suplex. As she positioned the arm one more time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Cindy has already had enough. Oh! Off the roof one more time. Wheelbarrow DDT! Oh no! My gosh! <laughs> Cindy fought a hard battle in this match. My God! Here is your winner and the number one contender for the Interstar Hybrid Championship. Well then, but I will get props to Cindy Lawler <laughs> that she actually put up a fight for once. <laughs> <sighs> well then. <laughs> I forgot to set that up. <laughs>
My gosh. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, also, we'll apologize. I'm pretty sure Marty will... will say he apologized he had to leave. <laughs> Very early in the show. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would have been lots of fun when Marty was here. But at least we all understand that he... he had to eat the spicy ramen. And I'm... <laughs> and I had warned him. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, so super friendly neat, even though I did try to call the match the best I can. <clears throat> Before we go, love my animal girl's heart, and does anyone know how good? No! Why? <laughs> God dang it, fact. No! <laughs> uh. Unless you have Photoshop, I'm pretty sure they have, like, an AI generator. <laughs> but yes, thank you, everybody. If you do, tell them off stream so the FBI can track things up now. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. I mean, it's good to be... be back for once. I'm pretty sure we'll do something next week as well. It's up to him. I want to make a cool NPC for my campaign. Oh my gosh, you! <laughs> that was Dom, thank you for the resub. Squibs, Squibbles, thank you for the follow. Justin Rasai, thank you for 100 biddies. De facto, thank you for 100 biddies. De facto, thank you for 100 biddies. <laughs> Scurvy Dog, thank you for the resub. 23 months, goodness. Fan and Dragon, thank you for the raid! And de facto again, thank you for the 100 biddies! They all wonderful beefful, thank you. Thank you, Princess, thank you, Delba Dove. Thank you, everybody else. <clears throat> Not. De facto underscore fiasco cheered for one bit. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for the one biddies. <laughs> uh, thank you all. Uh, uh, actually, got no one. Actually, I haven't raided this guy for a long time. Actually, Actually, let's continue with another streamer. He actually followed me not to go. I'm supposed to get up in four hours. Oh no! Got a bad defect! <laughs> yeah, let's actually go raid this good person. You have followed me before. Hopefully, I spoil it right. Yeah, the. Let's go raid Mr. Big H. He's, he followed me not too long ago. He's doing his own EFED as well. You may recognize a couple people there. If not, it's all good. <laughs> Have a great night, thank you all. Let's go raid this person. Where's my thing? Put up the raid message. If you got the emails, say it's a duck raid. If not, you can copy and paste that. I'm trying to talk properly here, but I keep burping along the way. God dang it. I have should not never eat it, but it's fine. Mm. Let's all go rain, Mr. Big H. Thank you, guys. As Kamadi would say, <clears throat> uh, 
Stay classy, my friend. Have this has been Duck Nevis and Roman. Have a quacktastic night and stay classy, my friends. <laughs> bye bye.